A woman who had been turned down over and over again for a double lung transplant finally got one right here in Pittsburgh. Hospitals across the country rejected her because of a rare condition. But tonight, one month after her transplant, she is telling her incredible story. David Highfield talked with her and joins us now in the studio with more. David. Julian Ken, what a story this is. Mallory Smith is getting ready to celebrate her 25th birthday. It's just three days away. That may not sound extraordinary, but it is. You see, she believes doctors here in Pittsburgh saved her life. Doctors in her home state of California were preparing Mallory Smith for the possibility of dying. If you want to stop taking your medications, we get it. Um, and I'm like, no, I'm not ready to stop fighting yet. I want to get Elizabeth for transplant. Mallory grew up dealing with cystic fibrosis. She was diagnosed when she was three. Her lungs were so affected, it became clear she needed a transplant. But there was a problem, a rare type of bacteria in her lungs that made hospitals reject her case. We were getting all these rejection letters in the mail, just one after the other from Cleveland and Duke and you know, everywhere, really. She couldn't go anywhere without oxygen. She slept 12 hours a night. And so it was starting to feel a little bit hopeless um, until we got the call from Pittsburgh. We pride ourselves historically on being one of those centers that give patients like Mallory hope as being a, a, a final option. And we take on very difficult cases here. Doctors with UPMC said they would do the transplant. So after months on the waiting list, her family and friends gave her hugs. Mm, I don't want to let you go. I'm not ready. Bye. Love you. And then she was wheeled into surgery. Doctors tested the new set of lungs she was about to get by using a machine to pump the lungs full. At the end of two hours, they really looked beautiful. Doctors say it went extraordinarily well. And now, a month later, she continues to grow stronger. You must really view it as UPMC kind of saved your life. They did. They did. The doctors there are just my heroes because they took a chance on me when nobody else would. You get emotional about it. In fact, she wipes away tears when she thinks about the gift she's been given right here in Pittsburgh. The pain is temporary and then you get to live the rest of your life with being able to breathe, so it's worth it. Well, Mallory started something called Lunges for Lungs. It's not to raise money for her medical care. Instead, it'll help fund UPMC's research on rejection, and we have a link for everyone at that for KDKA.com. Now, she hopes to go home to California for Christmas and then maybe for good in June, and she's doing something now she didn't know whether she'd ever get a chance to do, and that's plan the rest of her life. She wants to write a book. She wants to maybe study journalism, but she definitely is a writer. Incredible, oh right? Dave, that shot in your piece where you could actually see her lungs, I think yeah. we all just gasped at that. How remarkable to be able to see that. Yeah, and they talk about how they, they tested it. They, they filled those lungs up with this machine, and they did that to make sure that it was a good set and it was going to serve her well. All the best to her. Good luck. Yes. Yeah, incredible. Thanks, David. Great report. Sure.